OK, so in this example we'll create a cloud-based SQL database and we'll access it through a web page, hopefully. OK, so let's give it a name. So it's just creating a database for us. First thing that we'll do is we'll define the range of IP addresses that are allowed to access the database. We'll just make it any address. that. Try again. Okay, so that's our uh, that's our data base setup. So what will this will manage it now? So we'll go ahead and we'll manage it. Just takes a little minute for us to log in. So while it's doing that, we'll create our web page to access the database. And we'll just go for ASP.NET. And then just to save time, I'll just paste in. Some code. Okay, so this is going to add a button and a grid, data grid. So there we go. So what we're going to do is press the button, it will load the database into the grid. And that should that should hopefully connect to our backend database. Uh, Edinburgh one two three. Hopefully that'll work. Takes a little minute to connect. While it's doing that, I can fire on here. So double click on the button, brings up the code, and then just take some standard code. <coughs> What we need in here is a connection string. And we'll 
get that once we've created our database. So that's our connection string goes in there. This is just a select from table, table one. This is the table that we're going to create, hopefully. Okay, so that's us in. So now what we'll do is we'll design our, uh, our database. We just call it table one. There you go. So we can call it whatever we want, product and price. This is our primary key and these are our other other ones. We can add a new column if we want here. Actually, define the data type. So let's design it like that. Save that. And that's our schema. Fill it with some data. Save that. Okay, so that <laughs> that's our database created. So let's go back here, and what we need now is our connection string, and here it is here. So we copy that and we put that into our connection string here. And then we add in what our password is. So I put in Edinburgh123. Okay, so that's the connection string. Should be fine. That fills up. What we'll do is we'll just put in a breakpoint here just to make sure that everything's okay. So just got a wee error there, so that's that's because I've put the square brackets around it. Because this is the name of my database. So just make sure you get rid of the square brackets. And it should work fine. And there you go. Okay, so we could go back and we could add more data into our database.
save that again. And there you go, isn't that good? So let's now uh, create this as a as a web service. As we did before. details. Just takes a minute to publish. So that shows that the, the web service actually works.